never skip these jackets in Escape from Tarkov. Did you know that some of Tarkov's best loot can all be found in jackets? Then here are three reasons why you should never leave jackets unchecked. Number one, density. Let me start off by asking you a question. Which map in Tarkov do you think has the most jackets? A, Shoreline, B, Streets of Tarkov, C, Customs, or D, Lighthouse? I'll give you a second to think about it. Time's up. If you guess C, Customs, you'd be correct. Customs has the most jackets by far with 54 different spawns. Even so, Lighthouse has 45 and Shoreline comes in third with 31. If you're looking for the perfect jacket route to run, I'll link a video showcasing what route I run that can be done on your player scav. So Cisco, why are the amount of jackets important? This brings me to reason number two, the overall loot pool. Jackets have an expansive loot pool. So you're gonna need opportunity to pull something crazy from them. Jackets have 118 individual spawns, which do not include 178 mechanical keys. That's 296 items. With that said, you can pull some really good valuable items from jackets, including intelligence folders, bitcoins, and labs access cards. While finding those items in raid is fantastic, what we're really after are high value keys like RBBK, abandoned factory marked key, 314 marked room in dorms, and Sanitar's office key in Shoreline. Loot one of those keys right now and your early game just got a lot easier. Pro tip, if you're able to loot one of these high-end keys, go ahead and list it on the flea market. When it sells, take the money that you just got for selling that key and buy another one on the market. What this does is it increases your flea rep and helps unlock more slots for you to be able to sell. Reason number three, your time is valuable. If you're like me, you definitely don't have a ton of time to throw at Escape from Tarkov. As a dad of four kids, Kids, I totally understand it. So that's why I think jackets are the best return on investment for your time. In other words, if you have minimal time and you need money, then there is no reason why you shouldn't be taking your player scav and hitting every jacket you can find. All right, gang, I'll see you in raid. Love y'all.